Sí, 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 la tengo aquí. De preferencia, por el boca, si ya no te permitimos pasear, por pasear un hotel por la contingencia. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're doing some more walking and talking. That's right. I'm um, just going to be walking around and talking and uh, all that good stuff. Now, as you guys can see, I don't got my uh, mark of the beast on my face today. It is actually Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Now, if you guys remember last episode, I also did another walking and talking. This is, uh, you know, walking and talking part two here. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically, man, not only is it really windy right now, but as I'm talking, I can hear my echo. That is how little people are out on the street right now. And uh, why am I out on the street right now? Again, basically because of that, because there's nobody on the street right now. Sundays out here in Mexico, especially in Merida, um, everyone stays indoors, everyone stays home. It's a national day of doing absolutely nothing. Um, some people hate it, some people love it. I love Sundays because uh, back in the day when I used to work all the time, like 100 million hours a day, uh, 17 days a week, all that stuff. A lot of times the only day off I would ever get would be Sunday. And it would be specifically because, you know, as a chef, um, Sundays are typically, you know, kind of like the the lazy day um, where we always have like the, the B League crew, you know, in. By the way, a little advice for anyone out there, you know, that goes out to Sunday brunch. Whenever you go on a Sunday brunch, a good majority of the time, you're just getting the leftovers or you know some sort of uh meh, undesirable stuff that was left over from the week and repurposed for you guys to enjoy on sunday brunch so again if you've been to any sunday brunch you notice that the, the guys are all dressed up a certain way but you know at the end of the day you know they're just slopping it up on there you know cooking you some eggs a little omelet in their station and just slopping a bunch of slop on your plate so the chef doesn't need to be there for that, all right? <laughs> you know, so that's why Sundays is a day off. Um, you know, um, I still had to work Sundays. You know, I had to put in the order um, on Sunday night um, to make sure that everything would, uh, you know, be working like clockwork Monday morning as soon as I showed up. But I digress. For me personally, I love Sundays. It reminds me of football, it reminds me of the day off. It just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know what it is. I love Sundays. Um, Christian, on the other hand, she hates Sundays because everything is so dead. I know, hilarious. You know, she's usually doesn't like big crowds and lots of people and all that action going on. And yet, on the slowest, most quietest day of the week is the day that she hates. Hey, you know, <laughs> we're all a bunch of contradictions, me included, right? But anyways, the point I'm making is that, as you guys can see, it's nothing, nothing. And there's a reason why um, I chose today to go out for a walk. So I don't have to wear the mark of the beast. So, I mean, I still have it with me, all right? But I'm not wearing it at all today. Again, nothing. As far as the eyes can see, nothing. Now, I'm gonna keep the camera on me because, you know, I want to. It actually helps me uh, when I'm making the videos and stuff. Uh, but you know, the reality is, is that look, I have a bazillion videos walking down this same path. I'm going down Paseo Montejo so I can be in some shade just in case they want to take my temperature at the Walmart because that's where I'm going guys, I'm going to Walmart. Um, so in case they want to take my temperature, you know, I want to make sure I'm not too hot. Uh, it's so fucking ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. But anyways, if you guys remember from last episode, I was wearing this thing a good majority of my walk home. And um, the reason I was wearing it is because I was going in at Centro Centro, in the heart of the city, in the heart of the epicenter of, uh, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? I, I, because I don't even get what the hell they're doing. They just closed the downtown central area of the city as if that's the epicenter where the most problems are to be had. You know, the more sick people, the more this and more that. Nothing's going on, nothing's going on at all in the city. Again, out of 1 million people, only like 25 dead, 30 dead, whatever, man. You already know what I have to say about that. But anyways, the point is, is that, as you guys remember yesterday, I was making, doing some financial transactions. I was buying some silver, you know, doing things like that. So I actually needed to have my ID on me. So because of that, you know, I was wearing my mask and behaving a little bit, you know, because again, 
it's it, I, I am in, a, in all my right in order to refuse to talk to a cop in order to refuse any interaction definitely refuse any kind of search any kind of anything but you know you got to remember though you know we're in uh extreme times right now um most of the police you know at least in this area you know just like where i grew up in miami are very corrupt and again nothing to say against that i would rather have this police you know police force out here um than the police force that you have in the u.s um really cracking heads you know over this bullshit but the point is is that you know they can only go as far as um as i allow them and so in a sense it's like you know even if i were to get stopped right now and hassled and shaken down and you know they're not gonna find an id and that's where it stops it's not like they're gonna take me down to the station and run a bunch of shit and try to figure out all this other stuff nothing like that at all so as you guys can see there's one right there passing right behind me no problem not even a problem and that's another thing too i want to like talk about so today's just a bunch of random thoughts just a bunch of randomness of me talking about all kinds of things on my mind as i go to walmart this is the first time i go to walmart and fuck i want to say like two months because ever since like um this whole quarantine thing basically ever since uh um we were not allowed uh, ever since they started closing businesses and started having like a line outside for you to get in and you had to wear the mask and you had to do all this shit. Ever since then, I have actually um, not gone to Walmart. And I've been going to a lot of the smaller markets, smaller areas, but now you got to wear that mask anywhere and everywhere you go. You got to do, you know, a lot of things like that. So, for example, now when I got to go to the fruit market, I just send Christian to go to the market because we can only go one person at a time again ridiculous today she's actually at grandma's house because she had to take some dog food to her doggy and uh give him a bath and uh br bring some supplies to grandma because grandma's also kind of stuck like chuck you know what i mean so you know thank god that she got us and so you know we're helping her out with certain things but you know at the end of the day you know as i was saying all this is just a giant psyop as i was saying in last episode as i was saying before you know, this is just to see how you comply. To see how we the people... All right, I gotta clean. And it's hot. It's really hot. By the way, it's like almost 90 degrees, 11 a.m. in the morning. Love it. So. <clears throat> Hola. Como esta? Si, si. Come on. Si, si. Come on. See, I got someone bothering me. Or not. But see, I got, see, so, it's funny, like, I got these guys right behind me now, and I got this thing right here, and he's probably going to say something. So let's see what he's going to say. Si, 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 la tengo aquí. Hey, voy a, si, voy a mercado, voy a mercado ahora. Es que el mercado va, el mercado está para allá. ¿En Boa Mano está abierto? No, el mercado está allá de Santana, está en la 47. Pero el Walmart no está abierto. Si sí, está abierto. Si sí, está abierto, pero hay que tener mucho, mucho en cuenta de que solo se le permite entrar a la, y regresarse a su casa. Bueno, claro, yo, yo acabé de salir de mi casa, señor. Es que yo vi que no había nada y nadie, entonces por eso no me la tenía porque hace mucho calor. ¿Me entiendes, verdad? Muchas gracias. So as you can see, it's um it's very different out here because again, I, I, right now even he was just suggesting for me to put this on. So he's telling me, hey, why don't you go to the market that's behind you? And I go, because it doesn't have what I need. I need to go to Walmart. Is it, is it closed? Is it illegal for me to go there? And he's like, no, it's open. You can go. And I go, so what's the problem? He goes, oh, because we're just trying to limit this and limit that. I'm like, bro, I got to go buy shit, bro. I got to go buy food. What are you going to do? And again, you know, it's a loose translation here. You guys caught the conversation. I was trying to film it. Because again, I'm, I'm coming from the U.S., man. Where these guys are still like a pain in the fucking ass. And it's a little bit more difficult to deal with them. So therefore, um, still a little apprehensive to be so aggressive towards them. But that was just a quick reminder that, you know, who's right here and who's wrong. And they know that. That's why I was just, I was just having a regular conversation with the guy. I'm like, wait a minute. So it's not permitted for me to go over there? It's not open? He's like, no, no, it's open. You can go. So what's the problem? Oh, we're just trying to limit 
And like, bro, go limit some shit somewhere else, bro. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't fuck with me there. But as you guys can see, they never, ever, 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 ever talk to you. They never bring anything up. They never, um, uh, what is it like? Um, the thing is, they're right in front of me really slow. So that's why I'm still wearing this fucking thing. But uh, as you guys already know, you know, this thing right here is just to make you sicker. It impales your breathing. It makes you, um, makes your lungs and makes your body work, um, you know, harder than it needs to work. So this is basically just a, a tool of control, a tool to make you sicker, make you more fucked up, make you win again, man. You know, you guys look up the information online. Don't be taking my word for it. I'm done. Oh, look, they got some, some work done here. They laid some concrete down, new parking lot. Seems like the corporations are doing great. No problem there. So, yeah, anyway, so, you know, to me, it's beyond ridiculous. It's funny that they finally came up and said something, you know? Um, but anyways, all I'm saying is that the cops out here never, 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 never bother you for nothing. And now they're bothering people all the time with this shit. And again, you see how they're just very, you know, how, how they were. Because look, if I didn't have this, I swear to God, if I did not have this, he would just say, me being in this area, he would give me one of these. Okay, like have you seen many times? They'll give you one of these. Um, and, and even in the US and other nice areas. But if I'm in a poor area and I don't have this, oh, there, there's, you know, I probably wouldn't be getting arrested. I probably would be getting in trouble or something, something. And um, again, guys, when we're seeing everything that's happening right now, this is a major look man because again even as i was filming them you notice that they weren't as scared as they normally are um yeah you know so again guys you know we're we're moving into some weird times i love it out here by the way look how dirty it is nothing's been maintained all, all like all this is normally very clean look at this this has been messed up for a very long time it's like you know all these things that are falling from the trees and all this other crap Every, depending on the property, depending on whether it's uh, been able to get taken care of or not. But yeah. So basically, I was telling the guy during the conversation, I go to him. I go to the guy. So um, look, bro, the reason I I'm not wearing the mask is because I'm out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's Sunday morning. There's nobody out here. So why can't I wear it? What's going on with that? Why is it that, um, you know, I can't, you know, all of a sudden wear this, you know, I mean, you know, why do I got to be covered up like everybody else? And the reality is, is because they themselves are all covered up. They themselves um, also have to comply. And just like the, when you go to Walmart or go to any store and they're making you, you know, comply with this insanity, making you do things that you don't want to do. It's basically because they're also miserable. They're also pissed off. And then they're like, well, fuck it. If we got to comply and we got to do all this shit, then we're going to be doing the same with you. You know, it's like, oh, what makes you think that you're any special? You know, you got to suffer just like us. And that's basically it. But a good majority of these people don't want to, you know, they don't want to do any of this shit. Again, right now, I'm having a lot of trouble breathing. I'm having a lot of trouble you know, walking forward um, with this fucking thing on. This is fucking ridiculous. And, um, you know, I'm talking to friends, you know, that I got in Russia. And they're telling me that, you know, the thing, the, the quarantine got extended out there. Till J June 1st or something like that. Same as here. Um, I got other friends in Argentina. They're telling me September 1st. And I know that they're opening up in the U.S. and all that stuff, but, you know, my prediction is that they're going to be opening up for a little bit of time. Um, they're going to start saying, start saying a bunch of bullshit like, oh, my God, we got a bunch of cases, a bunch of sick people, a bunch of this, a bunch of that. And then they're going to force you back into like really heavy, hardcore quarantine. And that's it. You know, it's like it's up to you. I was talking to a friend the other day and basically it's like where we are at right now is that like that saying says i think it was george carlin that said it you know we deserve the yeah sorry had a 
something I ate this morning anyways, but we deserve the, the government we get. And that's it. So right now, if you're not happy with your government, period, it's like, well, that's the one that we deserve. That's the one we got. That's the one we, we put in play. And the same thing here, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, right now I'm not very happy with how the government is doing their thing out here. But in a sense, it's like, well, I put myself in this position and what am I going to do? Am I going to sit here and bitch and complain constantly? Or am I going to, you know, do something about it? So, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here with you guys here. So, you know, as you guys can see, I'm just complying to the, <laughs> the point I have to comply. But, you know, literally the fucking cop has to fucking tell me to comply. You know, and then it's like, all right, you know, whatever. Let's do it. See, by the way, so can you tell? Uh, uh, I'm making a bunch of uh, faces under this mask. Can you tell if I'm making any faces? I'm, I'm sticking my middle finger out with my tongue. <laughs> but yeah, this is fucking uh, ridiculous. But anyways, as you guys can see, though, usually there's a lot of traffic out here. A lot of movement. Nothing going on at all period end of story that's the most traffic you're gonna see which is nothing but that's why i came out here today because again i, I didn't want to be out here waiting in line for three hours just to get in here in fact i'm gonna sit here for a minute and cool off Whew, because i'm already hot and sweaty just from taking a quick little walk because it's that hot it really is hot it's super crazy hot but again Right now, so like as I was saying, if depending on the neighborhood, depending on who you are, me, they were seeing I spoke English, I spoke Spanish, I knew a lot of things. So they were, you know, they were hassling me because they had to, but at the same time, they weren't that happy to be hassling with me. But like I said, if I was in, 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 in another neighborhood and I just had a little bit of a different income level, and again, they don't know what income level I am here, but that's what I'm saying. It would be very, very, very different because again, we can see the videos and the pictures and the the evidence from plenty of people that have gone through that already so in other places but yeah you know right now again it's like they're patrolling to make sure that there's no you know disease being spread you know any cold virus uh, you know and again this is actually people that are wearing this and wearing gloves are actually spreading more of the disease they're actually doing worse you know they're doing really horrible things for their their own health and the health of others around them and it's uh it's pretty crazy look all i'm, I'm gonna say because i'm already here and i want to get to work i'm not gonna I, i'm if i can i'll film in there but i sincerely doubt that i'll be able to film in there especially the way things are going but look guys right now what's really going on is again it's it's uh you know this is a ginormous uh takeover of the human race and in some places it's going to be really you know it's going to take hold really really hard and some places the people are not going to allow it to take hold but at the end of the day it's up to you and then depending on what you do in your local community in your local place in your local everything and how you go about this stuff and that's basically it so what are you going to do how are you going to handle this how are you going to you know and uh yeah you know it's it's uh it's very interesting it's to say the least it's very uh weird very scary but like I said, when I hear stories of others um, going through the things that they're going through in other parts of the nation, in other parts of the world, it's um, it helps me a little bit more, you know what I mean? And uh, dealing with this, you know, because I understand it's like, oh, wow, things are way worse in Argentina. Things are way worse in, in this neighborhood. But then I talk to my sister in Miami or my friends in LA and they're like, oh yeah, everybody's out and about. Yeah, everything is still closed, but there's a lot of traffic. People are out, you know, people are kind of getting tired of this shit, you know, blah, blah, blah. By the way, I'm keeping to see, I, 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 since I was walking, that same cop was going, going in circles around Paseo Montejo over and over again, keeping an eye on me. And um, right now, you know, since he, since he thinks I'm in the Walmart already, um, he's not circling around anymore. Hilarious. And again, you know, it's like, what, what are you trying to do, bro? You know, what are you really trying to do here? You already know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm doing out here. So, and anyways, another reason I hate this is because, as you guys can see, look, as I put this on, and I don't give a fuck if I'm putting it on wrong or right or whatever. I don't believe in any of this shit. This is, to me, what's causing more sickness than anything else. This is what's really causing a problem is this piece of shit thing here. So, all I'm saying is that uh, another reason why I fucking hate this thing is because as I wear it, you know what i mean like my glasses are also on my ears as you guys can see so now i got two fucking things on my ears i know i got big ears and shit but 
it's a pain in the ass and so a lot of times you know when i'm adjusting this or anything like that my glasses fall i've already had my glasses fall like three or four times i didn't want to bother the guy that does my glasses because i you know we're friends on facebook and i don't want to bother him to help me get a new pair but you know hey at this rate i got this this player is already full so full of scratches from so much crap that i'm not gonna have much of a choice but to do that i might have to call him up but let's see if i can last another month like this anyways guys all right i'm already here at the location um it's empty as hell in there there's like noise and and there's like speakers you know telling everybody to wash your hands you know wash your ass all that crap there's already like a line of people outside so all right guys i'm gonna get in there there's only a few people in line to see not too many so i'm gonna get in here buy some stuff and i'll see you guys later look at this they got rid of everything no chairs no nothing this is crazy man so it doesn't seem like anyone's in line so let me just get in there and knock it out talk to you guys later yeah guys um good thing i came in here in time well, <laughs> um seems like this place got packed at the you know right just um as soon as i got in there i was wondering why there was so many people inside but anyways got, look at that got a grocery cart full of crap all right a bunch of food i need uh, to eat for a little while but anyways i just wanted to check in with you guys let you guys know what's going on it was really weird being inside of there it was really weird just the whole experience was really weird but hey um i got it yeah, yeah even in there there was getting dirty looks it was just uh weird but anyways my uber's about to get here i know i normally would walk home with all this but not today so i'm waiting for my uber to get here so i can uh you know load it up and get the hell out of here so all right guys Disculpa. Muchas gracias. um so yeah just walking down all the way down to get my uber to get the hell out of here all so all right guys yeah so this is it you know right here the uber should be popping up here any second now let me get the stuff down there and i'll check in with you guys later look at that guy <laughs> see look again i don't know if you saw that maybe you didn't maybe i didn't catch it enough but that guy you know was just about to blow through that red light and again you see the cops there and they're just chilling like a bunch of villains you know they're bothered see again look how they bother this as you guys saw from earlier but they're not bothering you know something like that <laughs> anyways guys all right i'm gonna get the hell out of here um i got the the outro coming up in a few minutes a few seconds after this so all right i just wanted to show you guys what was up as i was leaving um the walmart like i said i got here um i got here at 11 o'clock and it's uh one o'clock already so i spent like about two hours in there just trying to get so many supplies oh uber's calling me all right gotta go bye oh yeah don't forget don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell like i'm more important than anything else please stay awesome love you guys and i'll see you guys manana bye